guys, uh, welcome back again uh, after the previous videos of the stripped down and the uh, better look into certain sections we're going to now start on the rebuilding process. Uh, I went forward with the rehoning of the block uh, as that was quite clear that the piston rings had been wearing against it. Luckily this is aluminium block with iron cast uh, sleeves in it so they can be rehoned. So it's gone from the picture that I put up before, quite smooth, up to here where you can see the cross hatchings inside the block. This is designed to help oil stick to the side of the, uh, the uh, bore as the piston is going up and down to help the lubrication system. So I also got the piston rings gapped correctly uh, as they were far too tight from factory. Um, I think it was about 14 thousandths of an inch uh, piston ring gap now when they're inside the bore. So we're going to start off by fitting the pistons with the piston rings and then we're going to put the pistons inside the block and go from there. We'll do most of the build in a time lapse. Uh, as you've seen, kind of mostly how it goes in the, um, the stripped down video. So we'll do it nice and quick, just get it all back together again. Uh, there we go, the engine is now all back together. What we have left to do is to put it back in the car, get the oil pressure back up by leaving the spark plugs and coil packs out and turning the engine over. Uh, and then we'll do a short clip of when the engine is all up and running and see how it goes. Thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoy. <laughs> 